So for this video, I'll be discussing Math 9, Module, Quarter 1, Week 4, Solving Equations Transformable into Quadratic Equations. So let's have first what's in. So Activity 1, who said it? So direction, answer the puzzle below by simplifying the following expressions, then shade the box containing the corresponding answer. The unshaded boxes will show the answer to this puzzle. So, which great mathematician and scientist said, Do not worry about difficulties in mathematics. I can assure you that mine are still greater. So, you have there 12 mathematical sentences or uh, expressions. So, let's have example number one x squared minus 16 over x squared plus 8x plus 16. So in here, you're going to simplify the numerator and denominator by factoring. x squared minus 16, this is a difference of two squares. So we can have that one as x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 4. Then x squared plus 8x plus 16, we can factor that one as x plus 4 times x plus 4. Okay, this is a perfect square trinomial. Now, since there is x plus 4 in the numerator and denominator, so you can just cancel this one out. So our answer here will be x minus 4 over x plus 4. Then you're going to select your answer here on the box x minus 4 over x plus 4 that will be L, this one. Meaning you're going to shade this box here, L. Okay, so that's activity 1. Then what's new? In learning this module, you will need your skills in adding and subtracting rational algebraic expressions. Then, because of that, let's recall this first. Example, find the sum of 2 over 2x and 3 over 6x. So, step 1, write the expression 2 over 2x plus 3 over 6x. Step 2, find the least common denominator or LCD of the rational algebraic expressions 2 over 2x and 3 over 6x. So, we're going to find a number that can both divide 2x and 6x. So that number will be 6x in here, this one. Okay? 6x can divide 2x and also it can divide 6x itself. Therefore, the LCD here is 6x. Then rewrite the expression using LCD 6x. So in rewriting this one, you're going to write the LCD as the denominator then divide this one to the denominator of the first term, then multiply it to the, its numerator, then plus LCD divided by the numerator of the second term times the numerator. So doing that, we have here 6x, then divided by 2x is 3 times 2, this is 6. Okay? Then plus 6x divided by 6x is 1 times 3, 3. So you're going to have here 6 over 6x plus 3 over 6x equals 6 plus 3 is 9 over 6x. Then simplify divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 6x divided by 3 is 2x. So your answer here will be 3 over 2x. Then what is it? So you're going to have activity 2. Let's add and subtract. So Direction, perform the indicated operation, then express your answer in simplest form. So the same with the given example a while ago, you're going to find first the LCD, then divide the LCD by the denominator, and multiply to the numerator. Then let's have solving quadratic equations that are not written in standard form. So standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where x is the variable and a, b, and c are constants and a is not equal to 0. 
So example 1, you're going to solve x times the quantity of x minus 5 equals 36. So this quadratic equation is not written in standard form. Then you're going to write this one to standard form by multiplying first or you're going to distribute x to the terms inside the parentheses of x minus 5. So you're going to have x times x minus 5. So x times x is x squared. Then x times negative 5 is negative 5x. So it became x squared minus 5x equals 36 in here. Uh, then you're going to transform this one to standard form. So transpose 36 to the left side. So it became negative 36. So x squared minus 5x minus 36 equals 0. Then use any of the four methods in finding the solutions of the quadratic equation. So the easiest here is by factoring. So we're going to find factors of negative 36 in which if we're going to add, the answer will be negative 5. So that factor will be negative 9 and 4. Negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. Negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. So you are going to have the factor as quantity of x minus 9 times quantity of x plus 4 equals 0. Then applying zero product property, x minus 9 equals 0 or x plus 4 equals 0. So for x minus 9 equals 0, x here is equal to 9. And for x plus 4 equals 0, x is equal to negative 4. Then check whether the obtained values of x make the equation x times quantity of x minus 5 equals 36 true. If the obtained values of x make the equation true, then the solutions of the equations are x equals 9 or x equals negative 4. So for example, if we're going to substitute this one, if we're going to have 9, so we're going to have in the equation x times x minus 5, so 9 times 9 minus 5, 9 minus 5 here is 4, so 9 times 4 is 36, so it is okay, correct. Now, if we're going to have negative 4, we're going to have x plus negative 4, so negative 4 times negative 4 minus 5. So negative 4 minus 5 here is negative 9, so negative 9 times negative 4 is also 36. So this is also correct. Then example 2, find the roots of the equation quantity of x plus 5 squared plus quantity of x minus 2 squared equals 37. So first, we're going to simplify this one by squaring x plus 5 and x minus 2. So we're going to have here x plus 5 squared is, we're going to have first term as the square of the first term. So x squared is x squared. Then for the second term, x times 5 times 2, that will be 10x. Then for the third term, square of 5, the second term, 25. So x squared plus 10x plus 25. Then for the second, plus x squared. Then negative 2 times x is negative 2x times 2. That will be negative 4x in here. Then negative 2 squared, 4. Then simplifying this one, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. 10x minus 4x is 6x. 25 plus 4 is 29 equals 37. Then we're going to transpose 37 to the left side. So this will become 29 minus 37. 29 minus 37 is negative 8. So in here we have 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 equals 0. Then simplifying this one. So since this one is divisible by 2, we can just have this one as x squared plus 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 3x. Then negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4, so minus 4 equals 0. Then we're going to factor this one. We're going to have number that if we're going to add or multiply, the answer will be negative 4. And if we're going to add, the answer will be 3. So that number will be negative 1 times 4. So we can have this one as x minus 1 times x plus 4, okay? Then, 
applying zero product property, we can have here x equals 1 and x equals negative 4. Then, you'll just check if these values of x make the equation true. If not, then that is not a solution. It's called as extraneous root. Then, let's have solving rational algebraic equations, which can be transformed to quadratic equations. So, example 3, solve the rational algebraic equation, 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 equals 2. So, the given rational algebraic equation can be transformed into a quadratic equation. So, to solve the equation, the following procedure can be followed. So first, write the given equation, 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 equals 2. Then, multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD or the least common denominator in this case. The LCD is 4x. So you have there 4x times a quantity of 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 equals 4x times 2. Then distribute 4x on the left side with the equation. So 4x times 6 is 24x over x. First one. Then 4x times the quantity of x minus 3 over 4 equals 4x times 2 is 8x. So, 24x divided by x is 24. Then, 4x times x minus 3 is 4x times x is 4x squared. So, plus 4x squared minus 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x over 4. Simplifying this one, we can have... So, this is 24, then 4x squared divided by 4 is x squared, this one. Negative 12x divided by 4 is negative 3x equals 8x. Then, transpose 8x to the left side, so that it will become negative 8x. So, your quadratic equation will be x squared, then negative 8x minus 3x is negative 11x. Then plus 24 equals 0. Then by factoring, we're going to have quantity of x minus 3 times quantity of x minus 8 equals 0. Then x minus 3 equals 0, 0 product property, x minus 8 equals 0. So x here is equal to 3 and x equals 8. Then you're going to check if the given or your answer or values of or values of x make the equation true. And if the obtained values of x make the equation true, then the solutions of the equation are x equals 3 or x equals 8. Then let's have the meaning here of extraneous solution of rational quadratic equation. So example 4, solve 9 over x squared plus 2x equals 6 over x squared. So the given rational algebraic expression can be transformed into a quadratic equation. So to solve the equation, the following procedure can be followed. So write the given equation. So 9 over x squared plus 2x equals 6 over x squared. So usually the number that you're going to multiply here or the LCD will be the product of the denominators. Just like the examples that we have discussed earlier. So in this case, the LCD is x squared times the quantity of x squared plus 2x. Then multiplying this one to the equation, you're going to have x squared times quantity of x squared plus 2x times the, the left side of the equation, 9 over x squared plus 2x equals 6 over x squared times x squared times the quantity of x squared plus 2x. Simplifying this one, x squared times x squared plus 2x times 9 over x squared plus 2x. You can cancel x squared plus 2x here. So we're going to have 9x squared, this one. Then this one, you can cancel x squared and x squared. So we're going to have 6 times x squared, 6x squared. 6 times 2x is plus 12x. Then rewrite this one to standard form. So 9x squared transpose 6x squared to the left side. So this will become negative 6x squared. So 9x squared minus 6x squared is 3x squared. Then 12x to the left side. This will become negative 12x. 
So 3x squared minus 12x equals 0. Then factor this one. Common here is 3x. So 3x times the quantity of x minus 4. So 3x squared divided by 3x is x. Negative 12x divided by 3x is negative 4. So 3x times the quantity of x minus 4 equals 0. So in here, 3x equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. So for the left side, we can have x equals 0 and for x minus 4 equals 0, x equals 4. Now checking if these are the correct values of x, we can just substitute this one to the original equation here. So if we're going to have x equals 0, so this will become 9 over 0 squared is 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0, so 9 over 0. So meaning this is undefined, so we can say that x equals 0 is an extraneous solution. You can get the solution in your computation, but if we're going to substitute that one, it will not make the equation true. So that is what you mean by extraneous root or solution. But if we're going to have 4 here, if x is 4, so this is 4 squared. 16 plus 2 times 4 is 8, so 16 plus 8 is 24. So this is 9 over 24. Is it equal to 6 over 4 squared is 16? If we're going to simplify the, new, the left side, 9 over 24 divisible by 3. So this is 9 over 3, so this is 3 over 24 divided by 3 is 8. The right side will be 6 and 16 divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this is correct, meaning x equals 4 is a solution, not an extraneous solution. Then what's more, activity 3, view me in another way. So direction, transform each of the following equations into quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So in here, just apply the skill that you have learned a while ago. Then activity 4, let's be true. Find the solution set of the following so you're going to transform this one to quadratic equation, standard form. Then after, you're going to solve for the solution, just like what we did in the examples. Then what I can do, activity 5, my understanding of equations transformable into quadratic equation. So you have there four questions, so just answer the questions. Then the last part is the assessment test or post-test. So you have there six questions. So write that your answer in a piece of paper. So that's it for this video. So thank you and good day.